Hi everyone! In this tutorial, I'll show you how to set your own music files in a Lyra-based project. I've essentially used the same setup Lyra has and have just simplified it uh, for my own purposes, putting my own music, or in this case, YouTube audio music. Um, so as you heard, uh, the main menu had its music, and then when you start the game, it interpolates into the ambience music. And so the the more uh, the more you get involved in combat, the more you hear the, the drum music Ooh, run away. So pretty much when you hear the drums run away, and that music system is hooked up and has a trigger for whenever um, you capture a point. So you hear the little jingle. And yeah, so essentially we have three different songs that we added. And you hear the drums a little better when you die. Um, so, oh, let me not press that. If you quit the game and you go back to the menu, it will smoothly interpolate and back into the smooth jazz. All right, so back in the Lyra game editor, um, you can find the uh, meta sound source MX system. And that's pretty much where all the Lyra music is generated. If you play it, you'll hear a familiar sound. And if you open it, you'll see that it's quite complicated. There's, there is a talk about it. I think it's two hours and a half. I'll, I'll try to link it in this description. So if you want to follow with this tutorial and keep this file untouched, what you can do is you can navigate to it and... Oh. Okay. And then you can right-click, duplicate, and I've called mine MX System Tutorial. What you can do is you can right click on the MX system and then click reference viewer. So mine is my new one because I already hooked it up that way. And you can see that it is in the music manager component base. So let's browse to that asset or just press control E to open it up. And you'll see that it uses the Lyra game instances music system when it is valid. You can pretty much run the logic and anything on it. When it's not valid, we create the sound 2D, which is where our MX system goes. So in my case, MX system tutorial. So I'm opening up my system tutorial. Coming from just the MX system to this one was a lot of steps. So what I'm gonna do for this video, I'm just going to zoom in on some sections and explain as as we go what's what's actually going on so meta sound um it starts with the input on play so on play it basically triggers a metronome and it just repeats out so that the um, lyra was able to pretty much generate the song just based on a metronome and playing sounds at a certain times but in our case, we just want to play some songs. But to, to understand what this one does, uh, I actually hooked up a metronome that Lyra also has. Um, but at, in our output mixing, instead of the combat tempo, up tempo. So for testing, as a final step in the stereo mixer before the output happens, so the output is actually your left and right, the sound that comes out from your left and right stereo or headphones. And it's hooked up to the mas master volume. So if you want to hear the metronome, uh, I'll just play it. So what's really nice about these meta sounds is you can hear and play with knobs and values as you, you listen just to see what happens. Um, so. And the knobs, it's weird, it's up and down. So you can hear the metronome, and which was that value 
all the way over here. It's 85.5 beat per minute. It took me a little bit to figure this out, but that's it sounds like the right beat to this song. And what's interesting is this part is division of full note. Um, if you put it at 60 beats per minute and you put it at uh, 4, it'll be every second. Um, yeah, so, so the sound here is the... Like every time this trigger happens is when that happens. So this is kind of why meta sounds are also great for music based song uh, games. Um, yeah, so there's my metronome is playing. I'm just going to turn off my metrophone at eh, metronome. Okay, so down. So no more metronome. And then I can actually test out with like, okay, you're no longer in the menu. So if you turn that off, you can hear the nice transition. And then if you turn that back on, you can hear it uh, go the other way. Okay, so let's keep it off. And let's go to our combat up tempo. And let's raise that intensity. Let's say you're at a real gunfire fight. So the tambourines are starting. At the most intense, they're pretty loud. So I'll just lower that. Okay. And then you can see, this is where the stinger happens. So whenever you, um, whenever you capture a point and capture the a flag of play mode. So what's cool about it is that you can actually trigger uh, when you're previewing a meta sound. So if I click that, you'll hear it. So, And I think it goes on the next metronome tick. Let me just re-enable that. Okay. Yeah. So this is really nice for if you have a song and you're trying to match up um, like an interaction happens and sin instead of playing the sound right away you kind of wait till the next beat and so if, if you have a very melodic uh, game then this is great okay so let's stop that and let's turn off our or turn on or is menu okay so i'm just going to go through like how, how the logic happens it starts on play and then it triggers that metronome or it's pretty much like a for loop if you think of it in terms of blueprint and so and what's interesting about it is it ex executes all the next lines so it doesn't like these triggers don't have an, an output pin uh, but uh, yeah so this will execute uh, this trigger will execute and then it will also trigger this which just basically checks if this is if the menu is true or false um, so if it's true it will it will trigger this trigger and if it's false uh, this is where I'm pretty much using the Lyra setup what they had um, just to uh, use their, their their logic for the menu gain, which has this like nice slurp, um, and it takes care of the stingers, listening to the stingers, and playing the combat and ambient music. So when you play the main menu, um, one other thing in a meta sound is there's no search bar. But what you can do is you can right click on it and click jump to nodes and graph and you'll have a very broad view of everywhere that it's used so you'll see that in a small orange outline is where that variable is used or that trigger and the variables in the meta sound they can be all these types and they have barely scratched the surface uh, but this particular one is a trigger and I made sure to trigger it only once, 
or else this song would start at every time the metronome hits. So it would it would play a lot <laughs> or it would, it would restart a lot. Um, yeah, so I triggered this one once. I make sure it loops and then I play my wave asset. Um, yeah, and then that just essentially until you finish playing, this will be playing and it outputs to the main menu left. And so another another thing that's interesting about the meta sounds is they don't use categories. Uh, basically, how you how you define your category is you uh, separate the the words with a, a period. So out menu main left, and sometimes there'll be some weirdness where you click. Yeah, see, like I clicked this and it just disappeared. Uh, so this one was called what main menu left. Okay, I'm gonna save that. And okay, and then let's follow where main menu left goes. Okay, so jump to node. So it's all over there. And look at that, I still have some things to clean up. Okay. So main menu left. So that's the values for your sound to the left and right. So that will go in a stereo mixer. And what's interesting is that the gain or the uh, the line in, it will nicely interpolate for four seconds to the goal of the menu gain. Uh, so whenever you're not in the menu, it sets it to zero. And so it will go from one to zero in four seconds. Okay, so that's our main menu. I have kept the menu loading left and right, uh, but they don't have anything in my logic. Okay, so that's the men main menu. Okay, next up, uh, whenever you're not in the menu, it essentially goes all the way to the play ambient music and play combat up tempo. So the play ambient music is very similar to or pretty much the same as the main menu music. So we just trigger it once and we play this and uh, that one I output to ambient left and ambient right. Um, so if you're looking at this and comparing with the Lyra uh, system, this used to be just combat ambient left and combat ambient right. Uh, but in my case, I just wanted ambient music all the time, regardless of if you're in combat or not. Uh, yeah, and then the combat up tempo, it plays a different song, um, and that one, it it maps from zero point five to one, so it doesn't play if your um, if your intensity is is lower than five at point five, and then it just ranges from zero to one, just like how how intense it is. And then one thing at uh, Timo, so temporary left, I'm guessing. Um, yeah, and then one thing that's interesting is that uh, I use this one from, from Lara pretty much, is it interpolates the intensity uh, for three seconds uh, to the target of intens intensity. So may maybe that's why sometimes the tambourines don't come in too soon. Um, oh, oh, and there's also play the, the stingers. Uh, so uh, that one I'm just using Lara's. So that's, it outputs to the stinger left and stinger right. Um, so hopefully this helps because it helped me to simplify uh, because the other one is a, <laughs> a lot of, it's very complex. Um, so it's good to take it bite-sized and just try to get what you need for your game. So yeah, so pretty much what happens, it inputs, it plays, it, it plays the system, and then it, it hits all these triggers, which either play wave players, um, play music, or or generate some songs, or or whatever but that you would like. And then those all output into, uh, like, output left, output right, and then uh, the accumulation of everything, so your output mixing is in this section here. 
Uh, so it takes all these left and right values and it mixes them uh, sometimes with gain uh, one or something. Uh, like let's say for my ambient left and right, I put half gain because that song was really loud. Uh, but I could also do the mixing outside of the engine. Uh, but it's nice that we can do it here. Um, yeah, and then that one mixes into this stereo mixer. And this stereo mixer, stereo mixer, it can go up to eight channels and it, it just mixes everything together. I kind of wish we could right click and just change, change it so it has like five or six. Um, but once you have it, you kind of commit it to it. So you either create a new one and then you just drag, drag the pins if you need less channels. Yeah, and then that one goes into our metronome. So this one is it's pretty much nothing if your metronome is at zero. And then all of that gets multiplied by the master volume, which is uh, set in your game settings in your menu. And then that outputs. The last point I want to do is pretty much, let's say you're you just want to play uh, you're playing from the level itself, so you don't want the main menu to be set by default. Um, I want to show where the music manager is actually added to the game. So this music manager component, I'm going to just minimize everything. Okay. So the reference manager. So this one uh this one's just the base music manager and then it has the music manager for the front end so the main menu so let's just open that up oh control e just going to make it really big okay so your front end it sets the menu to be true so it is a menu and it has a little delay at the start i'm not sure why Okay, there you go. And it also, so for the control point, which we were, we're playing, it has a little more logic. So it sets its menu to false. So that's where your menu is set to false. And then it listens to uh, the message that some point was captured. And when it receives the message, it fires the stinger to uh, the uh, player whose team got to the control point. And one last part of this reference viewer uh, that I want to get to is the weapon audio functions. So whenever you fire a weapon, you send this weapon fire event. And then that in turn sends it to the music manager, which receives the weapon fire. And so this is in your music manager component. Uh, so this is where the intensity is set um, or added to. Um, and every weapon has a different intensity. If you're just shooting from the pistol, it will only add like 0 0.1. Uh, let me just double check that. Yeah, so your, your pistol fire uh, for your pistol is only 0 0.1, so on burst. And then something like, let's say, uh, the shotgun. I'm gonna go back to the weapon. Yeah, so something like the shotgun fire would, uh, oh, I guess it, it just sends the strength 0 0.2. <laughs> so it's not that intense, I guess. And so yeah, so you kind of like you kind of send events to your music manager, and then the music manager takes care of like of sending that information along to the music system. Okay, so if you go back to your music manager, uh, your alpha intensity, it's good to know exactly where it's set. Uh, so basically, when you receive a weapon fire, uh, when you when you tick, uh, you lerp, you interpolate that alpha intensity. So it's 
it's not jarring. You're not suddenly at 100% intensity. And somewhere it listens to death. Oh yeah, there you go. So when you receive your player death, you set the alpha intensity to one. So that's why the drums were super loud. And yeah, so on begin play, it just creates the system. And then it waits for also if you've taken damage or if you died. Another detail is that uh, your music manager could be different in uh, different experiences. So for example, for the music manager in the front end, this one is, let's use look at the reference viewer. So this one's actually set up in the Lara front end experience. So again, control E or right click and edit. So uh, you can find it in the Lara front end experience um, under add components. And then, so this is where your music manager is added to your game state. So that's for the uh, front end one. And so whenever that experience loads, it will add that component to your Lara state game state. And let's look at the other, uh, the other music manager. So let's go to the base and reference viewer. Okay. So the control point, it's the same deal. Um, so reference viewer. So this one's set up in your Lara shooter game control points. So, okay. So there you go. And the components, it adds all these components, including the music manager component control point. And I, I'm kind of curious what the top down arena content has. So the experiences of the top down arena arena. Okay. So the arena experience, does it have music? So when you add your components, um, yeah, so the top down arena one doesn't, doesn't have the music manager set up. So yeah, whenever you create a new Lyra experience, you could essentially create a new music manager component. So let's say you have a, an experience that has a countdown. So you would have that stressful music going on and maybe it goes faster, the longer you're in the game. And that's how you would kind of manage your music. So that's how our music is driven from the gameplay. And you can expand it, this as many, in as many ways if, as you want. Uh, you could, like if you're underwater, you could set a different song. Or if, uh, if you have succeeded in a puzzle, you could play a little jingle. Um, but yeah, this setup is really nice and it, it just took a little bit of time to kind of dig in and see how Lyra's was set up. Um, so let's open that one again. So MX system. Yeah. So there's, it's a very good example for, for, uh, procedurally generated music and, uh, a little, a little spaghetti, but once you, once you move things, uh, you can start to see what's happening. So let's say let's play main menu, uh, it ends and it outputs into this main menu left and right. And, and then interestingly enough, uh, that one is also hard to find. Um, whenever you start at, ah, there you go. So whenever you trigger the loading event is when you start to play the menu loading. And that is in turn triggered by, um, you play the main menu and then you wait 33 times that this gets, uh, it passes through. 33 times, so 33 metronome ticks, uh, and then you start to play that loading me uh, music. Um, so yeah, all in all, it's, it's possible to change that Lyra music. It's a little confusing at first, uh, but 
uh, meta sounds seem to be very expandable and customizable. Thanks for watching.